Hey guys, this is Jason Bitbender Brink again, and I am here with Corgi.cam <laughs> and her person. Hi. <laughs> Yo, son. Um, now, whether or not we're going to get a great interview out of this one here is, is somewhat up for debate. Uh, not particularly vocal at this exact moment, a little bit on the shy side. So, um, in lieu of uh, a fully fleshed out interview with with this wonderful person here, um, we're going to talk to <laughs> Yosan instead. Um, unless you have something that you would like to contribute. Are you okay? Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Cool. So, Yosan, how are you guys today? Um... A little exhausted, but um, well, otherwise, you should be. Okay. You were here <laughs> hacking. Like you showed up at what seven yeah, seven o'clock yeah. last night, I think. Yeah, skip the unity party. Yeah. You skip, it, this was way more fun. Come on. Oh, definitely. Come on. Come yeah, on, right? yeah. Way bigger stakes. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so you skipped the unity party to come participate in the first in-person uh, gala chain hackathon. Yeah. And um, I found out about it totally last minute too. Well, yeah. I'm glad that you mm -hmm. did because you came in third place uh, and are going to be taking home uh, 100,000 USDT. Cool. And so I'm super She's stoked excited. about that. My <laughs> guess is you wouldn't have picked that up at a unity party um, in all likelihood. Uh, uh, probably, probably not. Maybe, 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 who knows. Um, and uh, you you brought wonderful company with you. And, oh, definitely. Uh, this, this little That's creature was right. the absolute right. star of the show of That's all night long. All right. Um, and so, yeah. Okay. Do you want to you want to tell us a little bit about uh, about what you did? Yeah. Um, so basically, we use Gala Chain to give AI a form of immortality, and by AI, I don't mean just another LLM. I mean the entire thing. Imagine if your LLM can design what it wants to look like or say, let's have it be more of a collaborative approach where there are humans and their AI collaborating together. And so humans may have certain aesthetic preferences for how they want their AI to look. Um, and so this way it becomes more personable, um, basically breaking out of the, the text box, um, the chat box, right? So giving LLMs a personable form um, in spatial computing and also in augmented reality on other you know, devices. Um, and the fact that um, both the appearance, um, the humanoid or the character appearance in 3D, and by the way, everything was AI generated, um, and uh, also with human uh, iterations um, to collaborate with AI to kind of fine tune on that um, in real time. Um, and as the whole um, thing evolves, so as you continue to converse with the AI, um, you can have all the entire LM um, the conversation be stored on the ledger, and um, it's um, in a way, you know, when for example, if you stop talking to any particular chatbot, there's an existential crisis with does the chatbot no longer exist, right? right. And right. so, um, effectively, if you have every single conversation the chatbot has ever had stored somewhere, um, then it, it will kind of always be there, and any point in time later on people can then choose to revive the AI and uh, also um, because it has like a visual AI 3D appearance it you know it's kind of a form of immortality that's not just in text form but also in um, physical reality form because when you have a 3D model you can 3D print it um, and it's uh, a lot more interesting where I mean, instant robots in the future when you have like, um, like Star Trek, sort of, you know, like right, right. molecular sort of, you know, printers and stuff like that. And, um, um, I do yeah, need, I do need a molecular. Printer, yeah. Yeah. So. Like, like replicators and stuff. Um, and I mean, I, I think that there's just a lot more interesting, um, content that can be stored on, on chain. Um, and also when AI can generate 3d models, um, just like, quickly um very good looking yeah. 3d models too i mean yeah you know uh i think that that the type of thing that you were working with has the ability and this is super important given that we are at gdc right yeah uh i think that there's a tremendous amount of uh progress that these sorts of things can contribute 
to um, gaming and the, the gaming creation in general. In a bit over 12 hours, you built some pretty cool stuff. And I was very, very impressed to see that. Um, for you, this, this idea of putting an LLM and putting, um, or not just an LLM, putting a, a specific iteration on chain mm -hmm. so that you can, you can see, um, you can see the, the progression of that, of the inference as it moves through its, its full life cycle, I think is a profoundly cool thing. Because again, you know, you do have those, those chats that just go away, you know, and this way you can have that perfect recall, perfect memory and perfect uh, context for conversation, which I think is super important. Mm -hmm. um, you've you, so full suite of very cool stuff that you built, but you are also uh, you stood out in the room as you worked because you're the only person working fully in augmented reality. Spatial computing. It's very cool. Oh yeah, it's uh, it's like carrying an 8K studio display with you everywhere. Uh, you can't really go back to you know normal displays anymore after that. It's uh... <laughs> I, so so. This is I'm, I've really wanted to get one of these. You should. But I've really uh... just go to the Apple store. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'll go get one. I don't work for Apple, but you know uh, this is yeah. Even though I'm you know not invested in or not affiliated with Apple, I'm like this is you know gotta go try it out. No, it was yeah. it was very it was very cool mm -hmm. to watch you work because you're there, you know just doing things um, in, in the world around you, in the space around you that, uh, you know, everybody else is just on a, on a little tiny keyboard. And I thought that was really cool. And tell me about uh, your boss. Uh, my Corgi executive officer. Um, she goes pretty much everywhere. And I think she's staring you down. Oh, no, she's looking at the cameras now. Um, well, um, oh what about God. her? Well, actually, she does actually speak. Um, she has physical buttons that she presses to communicate. Oh, very cool. Um, it can get annoying, you know, because sometimes uh, Corky's are very bossy, actually. Um, she has the usual, you know, you know, when she's hungry and like, you know, when she wants water or when she wants to go out and stuff. But you also, she also has buttons where she can press them to generate AI art that looks like her. Um, dream oh, booth cool. model, um, like endless corgi art um, that started like in November of 2022. Um, and um, at one point I was like, okay, what if she could just generate, well, I, I got a domain leggings.ai um, and I kind of am kind of a domain sort of hog, I guess, when it's dictionary words. Um, and uh, I was like, okay, well, I just, I have, you know, she's generated so many Corgi, like it actually, you know, Dream Booth basically allows you to um, fine tune the model with just like five to 10 pictures. And it looks very, very much like, I mean, it's actually really, really good. It looks like mm -hmm. her and stuff. Um, but this is 2022, okay? Now there's like um, better, less, All sorts of stuff, less yeah. compute intensive ways to do that. Um, and uh, well, um, Anyway, she um, presses buttons to do all kinds of things, um, like what a CEO would basically do, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pressing buttons. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> definitely benefactor. Just sits around pressing buttons. <laughs> yeah, and she, um, her name is Cam, and she's a corgi.cam um, in pretty much, um, you know, Instagram, um, and also, um, on Twitter, but it's an underscore because they don't allow dots, I guess. And so, uh, silly Twitter. Um, but yeah, it's a, a 99 cent domain name in 2017, corgi.cam, um, because back then they used to autocorrect.cam to .com. Um, mm -mm -mm. But fortunately, they don't do that anymore. Um, so that's one, you know. And I also have registered many, many other corgi domain names. Um, so <laughs> it's okay. I, yeah, I, I, yeah. And with she has someone as cool as this. I don't. I don't blame you. She has so many apps, right? Yeah. Um, Fjbc.me um, front jolly back corgi um, was like a really crazy app where um, that was when I gave her a bunch of random buttons for random things that could happen in a game and just like, all right, whatever buttons that she chooses and I'll just add it to the game, which um, turned out to make the game really crazy actually. And that was a, that was a long time ago. Uh, cool. And anyways, there's like um, a lot of um, fun stuff that she has um, executive commissioned. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's good. 
Well, Yosan, thank mm -hmm. you very much for coming to join us. Mm -hmm. Thanks for coming and participating and being a trooper, pushing all the way through. And congratulations on taking home a prize with you. Uh, it is well deserved. You've created some cool stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know that you're uh, you're going to be talking to some of the uh, a couple of the judges. Talk to you, I believe. Uh, some of my friends mentioned that they were very impressed with what you've done. So mm -hmm. uh, I very much uh, look forward to seeing where you go with this in the future. And congratulations again. Yeah, thank you for this uh, really cool hackathon. And yeah, thanks.